So I'll go to file and then I'll go to data file and I'll hit use existing. And then in my desktop, I have saved a text file containing data about an arrival for a model. So I'll select that text file and then I'll hit open. So after I open it, already a histogram has been created. And the number of data points in that file is 10,285. Minimum data value is one, max is nine. Sample mean is five, standard deviation is 2.58. And then the histogram range is from 0.5 to 9.5. So 0.5 up to 9.5. How many intervals we have? We have nine intervals. All right. Next, what we will do is that we will, I'll hit save first, and then I'll go to window. And then over here, if I click input data, so here is the list of data that has been used to create that histogram. So this, this is the same data that I have my, that I have inside my text file originally. All right, I'll hit cross and next I'll go to window one more time. So over here, I can see car fit, but I haven't fitted anything to my data. So I'll go to option and then here I can see there is a tab called parameter, I'll hit on histogram. So over here I can control the width of my histogram. So the lowest value of the histogram is 0.5 and the highest value is 9.5 and the number of interval is nine. So let me change it to let's say 15. And then automatically 15 interval has been created and uh, the range is still from 0.5 to 9.5. All right, so that we can do from the parameter option. I'll, however, I'll just make it nine for now. Okay, next I'll go to fit and then I have option to fit each distribution to this data or I have option to fit all at the same time. So I'll hit, hit fit all and then over here in the distribution summary, you can find that the best fitted distribution was uniform for this data and the minimum value was is 0.5 and max is 9.5. Sum of square is 0 0.000043. So let's go and go to fit all summary. So from here we can see the best fitted distribution was uniform as it has the least square error value. Next to it was beta, after that it was normal and the worst fitted distribution was triangular. So it's very simple to fit in. So if you hit fit all, then it's very simple to fit your data. And then you can just copy the expression. Sorry about that, I'll just minimize this. So from here, you can just copy the expression or you can go to edit and hit copy expression and then paste it into your logical flowchart module. Next thing I want to show is that two kinds of thing is fitted here. It says sky square test. All right, so number of interval is nine, degree of freedom is eight, test statistics is 4.01, that is the chi-square test statistics value. And the p-value is greater than 0.75, so it's a very good fit because our null hypothesis is the best fitted distribution or whatever distribution we're trying to fit is a good fit for the data. So as the p-value is large, so we'll say, yeah, it's a good fit. However, it's a uniform distribution that has been fitted, which is a continuous distribution in this case. That's why we don't have the k squared test value. If we would have fitted a discrete distribution, then we would have seen the k test value. But for this data, we don't see. k test value will be same as the sky square value. We don't need to do anything. It will be already reported for us. However, let's say if we had a p-value less than 0 0.05, then we could go to fit and then fit empirical distribution. So over here, 
it's just like dividing your data into different classes and then giving the probability of getting uh, a value from that class. So what you can do, you can go here. If it's a discrete distribution based on your observation, you can copy this expression. Or if it's a continuous, you can take off R and this part and then copy it back, back to your model and so on. However, you have still option to control the width of this histogram that we see, that we saw before. So that ends the tutorial for the input analyzer. I hope uh, you have learned something from it and please try to generate your own data. So you have an, okay, before concluding, you have another option. You can go to file, you can go to data file and then you can generate new data set. So maybe I'm generating a new data set of exponential distribution with a mean of five and offset of zero. And then I can, can control how many data points I want. Let's say I want 10,000 data points. So if I do that, then I click OK. Then uh, uh, list, list of 10,000 data point will be created. And then you can use that data and come here and fit it back. So if you don't have data for a particular input parameter, you can generate it from here and then get the, uh, and then use the distribution back to your model. So try to do that or try to fit data for different things for your project or whatever you are working on in Arena and then use Input Analyzer to play with the system. Thank you all.